Hello everyone. Today's recipe is onion rava dosa. Are you craving for that perfect restaurant style rava dosa? Follow this recipe and you will get crunchiest rava doshas ever. So let's get started. First we will add half a cup of rava or semolina. To this we have added quarter cup of maida and half a cup of rice flour. Then we have added 1 teaspoon of jeera or cumin seeds. Then we have added chopped curry leaf and two finely chopped green chilies. You can also add half an inch of finely chopped ginger, it's absolutely optional. And then we've added quarter teaspoon of carom seeds. Then we will add salt to taste and mix all these dry ingredients well. Once all these ingredients are nicely mixed, we are going to add one glass of buttermilk. Now I have taken three teaspoons of curd, whisked it well and added water to make this buttermilk. You can also take milk, add half a teaspoon of apple cider vinegar, keep it aside and use that buttermilk for this rava dosha recipe. Mix the buttermilk with a whisk until no lumps are formed anymore. Now this is an instant rava dosha recipe so you won't have to rest this batter. You just have to adjust the consistency of this batter. To this I have added 2 glasses of water. Now if you are new to the concept of rava dosha, you must be wondering this looks nothing like a batter, it's completely watery now. But that is the secret behind perfect crispy rava dosha. Observe carefully and ensure that the consistency of your batter is as shown in the video. A very very important tip is to ensure that the consistency remains the same. Now to this I have added half a cup of chopped onions. You can also add onions directly on the tawa and then make doshas but this method is very easy and the result is absolutely the same. Now once you've made this liquidy batter, heat your tawa very nicely. The temperature of the tawa is extremely important while making rava dosha. It should be piping hot to that. Take the liquid batter and pour it on the tawa as shown in the video. As you can see, there are some spaces in between the liquid batter and that is absolutely accepted. You do not have to simmer the pan heat at all. Just let this cook for around a minute or so and then we will add oil. 
Now we do not add oil just to the sides as we do for all other doshas. For rava dosha, we have to add oil in between the holes of the dosha as well so that it gets nicely roasted and that is what makes it rava dosha super crispy and crunchy. had mentioned earlier after making three to four doshas you will see that the consistency of the batter changes semolina or suji absorbs the water and the batter becomes thick so do add half a glass of water after every three to four doshas adjust the consistency and you can make crispy and crunchy rava doshas at home very easily There we go. Our paper like looking rava dosha is ready. You can serve it with coconut or peanut chutney. Do let us know in the comment section below how you liked it. Enjoy this delicacy and do not forget to subscribe to our channel and Click that bell notification. Thank you for watching.